Three ways women use men for services, money, and free attention, blood. Certain gal might be watching this video right now. I think three ways women use men. I can think of ten ways that man use a gal. That might be true. I ain't saying the man them out here are saints. But this is a man's channel. If you don't like it, go make your own Ross Clark YouTube channel, make your own videos on that. So the way this video came about is I was telling my girl about certain times in the past where man spoke to girl and they try to finesse man. They think I'm stupid. Not finesse man on a serious level. Man's not talking about they try to finesse man out of a free holiday or they get me thousands and thousands of pounds. Don't get it twisted in it. But even look all dumb minor stuff, which I'm going to reveal soon. They try to finesse man. They don't understand Man's J-wise. Even before this YouTube, man's always been J-wise. At least since, like, man's 20, 21 years old. 30 years old right now, yeah? At least a decade, man's been J-wise, bro. Jumped on the camera in 018, so that was, like, almost four years ago. Let's start with the first one. And, man, you pay attention to this because you might be getting used right now and you don't even realise, my brother. For services. This is the first one on the list, bro. So, as you know already, I'm an electrician. So, by default, people are just going to assume I'm handy around the house. If I know how to fit sockets, chase, drill out walls, fit lights, of course I'm going to be able to do little other bits and pieces around the house. Potentially paint, potentially put a wardrobe together, potentially put up some blinds. Hmm. So, anyway, got one thing's number one time. And um, chatting to it or whatever. And she was saying that, yeah, um, in a couple of weeks' time, trying to be really vague, in a few weeks' time, I'm looking to get some blinds and that. And, um, yeah, you seem like quite a handy person and that. And I was thinking, like, you know, maybe in a couple of weeks' time as well, if you wanted to, like, I could cook you some food and that. You could come around for dinner and that. She sent me that in a voice note. I responded to her, listen, the only person I'm a handyman for is my mum. So you're going to have to find someone else to put up these blinds for you. Innit? That was pretty much the last time I ever spoke to this girl, innit? I'm not fucking stupid. This chick will use the hopes of getting sex as an excuse to lure me into her house. For food, when really and truly, she wants you to put the fucking blinds. This girl was being very vague and that, like, oh, yeah, maybe if you're free in a couple of weeks' time, I can make you some food and that. And yeah, I'm planning to get some blinds and that. You're quite handy around the house. Maybe you could help me out and put them up and that. What would most men do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll help you. It's a 10 minute job. I don't give a fuck. I'm a man of principle and that. Certain man, yeah, 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 I'll help you because they know, oh, that means I have a, because this, I've never been to a yard before. Never been to a yard. Oh, this is going to be a free pass, a free access pass to her yard. And if I'm, if I'm in her house, I have more chance of banging her if I'm in her yard than just talking on the phone. So certain man, how, why did it take you so long to even ask me? I don't give a fuck, blood. This girl thinks I'm dumb. Anyway, I told her, obviously I'm no one's handyman apart from my Ross Clark mum's handyman. I don't do no jobs for no one for free. That was the last time I spoke to the girl, pretty much. She might have thought it was rude and I don't give a fuck. I know this chick was only keeping man around for the purpose of... Oh, because you, you have to think about it this way, yeah? Men are utilities to women. We're just a fucking tool to them for the most part. So her, you have to think about it this way. In her head, she's going to think to herself, my life will never be any worse if, because I ain't no weirdo that just constantly hollering a gal, constantly texting, phoning them. No. If you, don't, if, if you don't respond to my message, you won't hear from me again. So I'm not a pest. What will go on in a gal's mind and in a, and, and people's heads and that, in people's minds and that is my life will never be worse if this person is around. So why don't I just keep him around? I don't, I, I don't know what's going on with this gal. Maybe she has something going on with her ex. I don't fucking know. I don't care, innit? But... She probably figured to herself, my life will never be worse. This is subconsciously. My life will never be worse if I keep this guy around. He's an electrician. 
yeah? He might be able to do this or do that in the future. So why would I just cut him off and lock him off? So I'll keep him around. Plus, obviously, she's a single woman and that. Now, she might have someone on the side. I don't fucking know. Might be going back and forth for it. I don't fucking know. It, yeah? But she was going to try and use the potential for me to lay her down, sleep with her, so that I could go, go around to her yard and fit the blinds for her. I just shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. I'm not, I'm not allowing her to waste her time. I'm not going to allow her to waste her time to think that she can get a free service out of man. Now, that's a handyman thing. And that's, you know, something that a girl tried on me. You might be a mechanic, my brother. And one girl that you know that you're chatting to that's talking about going out on dates and doing this and doing that. Blood, she might just be using you because you're a fucking mechanic, blood. Because women know men are fucking stupid. Men are willing to do things for free for the sake of trying to bang a gal. My girl's half Polish. When she was living down in London, yeah? South London. No, she was living in North West London. But anyway, she used to... Um, she needed shit repairing with her car. Just little minor stuff. Brake pads and all of this. So what she would do is go on the Polish community groups on Facebook. Oh, does anyone know any mechanics in North West London? Certain man were contacting her, replying back to it, saying, listen, I'll fix the brake pads for free. What the fuck for? I know what for. They want to get in between the girl's legs. No, you don't believe, man. If my girl was 400 pounds, she smelled a piss, she was bold, she had a fucking mole with trees growing out of it, do you think they'll be fucking trying to fix her brake pads for free? The answer's no, blood. They saw her picture, they thought, yeah, this thing's all right. Let me do it for free. So that, oh, I've done this for free. So now you, I'm not going to say directly owe me sex, but you owe me a date. Fuck that. I ain't doing nothing for no one for free. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, maybe if I did go to that woman's house and fit the blinds and that. Yeah, maybe I could have smashed it. Maybe. Who gives a shit? I ain't going to be out here giving out free services and that. <laughs> Oh, 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 please, my... What, for the hopes of getting laid? Nah, 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 nah. I got more pride and dignity, and I don't give a fuck. Single, and I don't give a fuck if man on a, on a year, year and a half dry. I don't business, blood. I don't business, blood. So that's the first one. Certain man will get used for services and that. Second one. Money. I had one girl one time. Now, certain man might be watching this right now. And obviously, I ain't gonna uh, talk about too too much different scenarios and that. But certain man might feel like, rah, Jay talk about getting rejected this time, that time. Blood, man's approach with bare gal in my life. If you don't want to get rejected by girls, don't approach gal. The reason why I've been rejected by so many girls in my life, turned down, aired by so many girls in my life, is because I put myself out there to get rejected. The best way to never get rejected or turned down by a girl, don't approach nothing. But blood, you ain't gonna get no girls, fam. It's a numbers game out here. So anyway, for the most part, if you get 10 girls' numbers, you might get three of them out on the date. It's just the way the game goes, isn't it? So anyway, boom, I got one girl's number one time. Uh, I think she was half Indian, half Albanian. Uh, when I saw her, I just thought like she was like Arab looking, like Persian, whatever. Right? Got the girl's number, chatting to her, chatting to her, chatting to her, just back and forth, back and forth. But the convo went dead after a date. So I know what that is, isn't it? Yeah, she was just being polite, gave out the number, whatever. So the convo went dry. Let's let's just say it happened. I don't know in in June or something. Yeah, the convo went dry in June. Randomly, one day, blood. Five six months later, I don't fucking know. Randomly, one day, blood. This girl hit me up at night time. Have you got ten pound? I was like, no. She was like, oh, all right, just asking. Like, I didn't even send her, I don't know, maybe I sent her a voice, I can't remember, innit? but I was like, no. She was like, oh, just asking, innit? Yeah, just wanted to know if I could borrow £10 uh, for the next couple of days and that. No. Certain people might think, oh, she was just generally desperate and that. No. She might have needed £10 and that. But gal are smart and gal know that men are dumb. And gal know man will use any excuse to try and get in between girls' legs. So what would most men do? Yeah, 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 here's £10 and that. Certain man, see this is the psychology of a girl hitting man up after six months asking for £10. She didn't need no fucking £10. 
So you're going to contact a complete stranger for the most part. I spoke to her for one day. I'm a complete stranger. You're going to contact a complete stranger. You ain't got what? You ain't got a mum. You ain't got a dad. You ain't got brothers and sisters. You ain't got cousins. You ain't got no aunties. You ain't got no friends. Grandma, granddad. You're going to ask a complete stranger for £10. I'll tell you what that situation was. She probably trying to throw the bait out there. Oh, have you got £10 in that? To see if I'm going to buy the bait and give her £10. I guarantee you, if I gave her that £10, she would hit me up. At some point, you got 100 See, no one's going to hit you up out of nowhere and they don't know you asking for £100. No. They're going to ask you for a small amount of money, £10, £20 and that, to see what happens. You would never contact me again ever asking for money. I shut that rascal up down, blood. This is the psychology behind it. Certain men, they'll get a girl's number, they say in June or whatever, they'll get a girl's number in June. They'll chat to the girl, it will, the conversation will go dead after a day or two. Cool. But then when the girl hits them up six months later, five months later, asking for £10, they'll think, oh my God, maybe she is into me. Oh, she, the, the flame within her is ignited and that. Oh, maybe this is my chance. Yeah, 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 I'll give her the £10. What's £10? Blood, it's your fucking dignity, it's your self-respect, blood. Never, never fall for that nonsense and that. Next one, last one, attention. Now, obviously, I'm sure there's 10 things I can think of, but there's three right now. Free attention. Uh, there was one time I got one girl's number. Like I said, for me, to get girls' numbers is easy and that. Um, a certain man will struggle to get girls' number. I never really struggled to get girls' numbers and that. But one time I must have been driving and that, and I see one girl in it, so I've hopped out of my car. And... Uh, no, I didn't even hop out of my car. I waited for her to come and I was talking to her through my car. You know, chatting to her, chatting to her, chatting to her. Got her number. Bus out. I don't know, the next day or two, whatever in it. Text her. Air. No response. Cool. But I don't delete girls' numbers. I don't give a fuck. I still got girls' numbers in my phone from like four or five years ago. I don't give a fuck. Certain man, they'll get air by a girl. Oh, delete this girl's number. I don't give a fuck, blood. I don't care, blood. It don't mean nothing to me. So anyway... Message the girl two days later, a day later, or whatever, and eh, she didn't respond. Two blue ticks. She didn't even save my number, so there was no profile picture. I'm just seeing default picture, default picture, innit? So, anyway, boom, she aired, man, cool. Again, about four, five, six months later, this girl hit me up. Hey, you all right? I'm like, yeah, well, go on, innit? Like, I bet she was thinking, I bet this guy didn't my number. No, I, I still got your number because I, I don't give a fuck. Why do I care? I've got men's numbers in my phone that I haven't contacted for 10 years. I don't care. You are not... An... Anyway, so boom. Hey, what's up? Boom. Yeah, 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 I'm good, innit? Yeah, boom. Just going back and forth, texting, texting, texting. She was like, yeah, the reason why um, I, I, I didn't get back to you before because I had some stuff going on and that, but I'm out of it now, innit? Yeah. So basically, what you're telling me is that at the time when I got your number, maybe you was having a little dispute with your boyfriend, things weren't going well, it was a bit rocky and that cool. So you took my number or you gave me your number. When, when I hit you up, you didn't respond to me because obviously you was maybe going back and forth with your boyfriend. Cool. But now that things have fizzled out and you've quote unquote got rid of your boyfriend, now you want someone to validate you. Now you want a little rebound. No. I'm not stupid. I'm not falling for that shit. So anyway, me and her texting back and forth and that. Most men would have asked the girl out on a date. And I thought, you know what? I'm not even asking this girl out on a date, you know? Nah. Anyway, we're talking, texting back and forth and that. And I can't remember what happened. Like, I must have I said like, oh yeah, Tottenham's coming up and that. And she was like, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's surprising because it used to be a rundown area and that. And then she texts me back with a smiley face emoji. I just blank, I just aired her. If I'm talking to a girl, you cannot respond to me with LOL or some fat smiley face emoji. No. Talk to me. Text me Ross Clark properly. Because I don't know. If I was fucking Drake, blood, you would not be responding with a fat smiley face emoji or LOL and that. And if Drake didn't respond to that, you would double text him. So you know what? I ain't saying I'm Drake. But what I'm saying is, if a girl's truly interested in a man, she won't be sending him some done texts that... Like, how, what, the, what the fuck am I supposed to... How am I supposed to respond to a smiley face or LOL, blood? Seriously. My fucking four years old. How am I supposed to respond to a smiley face or LOL and that? So I just aired her. Anyway, I don't know, a week or two later, 
you know, like you've got people's WhatsApp profile and then their status. Or no, I think it's called an about because you know the status is like they might be out and about taking pictures and shit, and you can scroll through their status like their story. But WhatsApp, I think it's their about. So on her about, this wasn't there before, but after like two, three weeks of me not responding to her, I see like you know, like the the hand emoji and that, like the love heart thing and then the love heart symbol and then smiley face and that. So that tells me, oh, she probably patched things up with that other guy and that. So basically, initially, the whole time, she just wanted to text someone that could possibly be interested in her. Yeah? Because like I said, with the previous girl, um, with the old, oh, her hitting me up after six months of... Um, not, not not chatting to her. Oh, oh, maybe now there's a chance for me to get in between this girl's legs and at least take her out on a date and see where things progress. She probably tried to do the same thing. Hit man up after four or five months of her breaking up her boyfriend or whatever, innit? Yeah? And this, this is what girls do. When they're on breaks with their boyfriend, this is why the man them can't get out with girls on dating apps or in general. Because especially on dating apps, the girl them that are on dating apps, I guarantee you, 70% of them are on a break from their boyfriend and they just want some fucking free attention and validation. That's it. The man that are watching this right now, yeah, that struggle to get girls out on dates, on, t or on, on dating apps and that, if they're not wrong with you, fam, I'm telling you. Unless, unless you truly know you're weird, blood. Because don't get it twisted. You don't have to have fucking hella charisma or nothing like that to get gang. Go out onto the streets. All of your family and friends and that, uncles and that, that have women, do they have hella charisma? The answer's fucking no, blood. So don't think, oh, I ain't got hella charisma or hella swag. All of the man them that, most of the man them that you know that have got women, your dad, whoever in it, your uncles, whoever, even the females in your family, their partners and that, do they have hella swag? Do they have hella charisma? No. So don't think, oh, it's not because I ain't got hella charisma or hella swag or anything, that's why I can't get these girls out on dates. No. The reason why you can't get these girls out on dates is because they want a fucking break from their boyfriend, blood. I clocked that. I clocked that. I clock. They're on a break from their boyfriend. That's why they're just using these dating apps. Plenty of times on dating apps, man. Man's got girls' numbers and that. Texting them back and forth. Go to book a date. No response. There's nothing to do with me. I ain't done nothing wrong. I ain't said nothing stupid. Me, I'm a man. I self analyze and I know I ain't said nothing or done nothing dumb. It's because they're on a fucking break from their boyfriend. That's why girls these days are so, and girls in general, are hard to get out. On dates and that. It's because they're on a break from their Ross Clark boyfriend. Every girl does it. Your girl right now. If you got a girl right now. If you break up with her. Or she breaks up with you. And you're on like a one month break or two week break. She'll go on a dating app. With no intentions of linking up or hooking up with nobody. She just wants to try and take her mind off you with another guy. And or get free attention blood. And what she might be doing as well is secretly hoping that you see or hear from one of her brethren that she's on a dating app and you ask or running back to her. Trust me, I know a girl. I was telling my, my, my girl about this. I know a girl. You know on Instagram, yeah? Some people will put like on their bio. So imagine Instagram now, you've got a bio. Some people will put like they're in a relationship or, you know, put like the ring symbol or something in it. They'll put that they're on a in a relationship and that. Now, if they break up from that relationship or that relationship fizzles up, if they was in a relationship at the time, when they break up, they'll probably just delete that and erase that. I know a girl who didn't just delete and erase the fact that she was in a relationship. Now she's put on her bio, where when you go onto her Instagram page, you can see she put in her bio that she's single. I know why she's done that. It's not because she's single and available. Single, really single, ready to mingle. It's, it's not because of that. What these are all the mind games that girls play, blood. She's put that she's single so that when her ex boyfriend or her boyfriend that she's on a little break with sees that he'll lose his fucking mind and go mad. So he caves. Who the fuck writes single? This is not like because with Facebook, I don't know if you like use Facebook. With Facebook, you can put your relationship status. You can put widowed, married, single, whatever, in relationship, whatever in it. So maybe some people, they might get angry and change their status because some people think to themselves, well, once I break up with someone, whether or not I'm thinking about getting back with them, for now I'm putting single. There's a difference between changing your status from taken or relationship to single, then deleting it and physically typing out the word single. She done that 
to piss him off. She done that so that he goes running back to her. I guarantee you, this is her baby dad. I guarantee you, in within the next six months' time, I'm gonna see that they're back together. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Yeah, I love doing that. They love posting up nonsense and that on fucking social media. I'm going to end the video in a minute, but I remember like, I saw one girl's um, post on Instagram and I actually took a screenshot of it and I showed my girl in it and I was like, this is what girls do, you know, like, certain men think like, when it's over with their gal and that, I right, put it this way, this girl posted up one thing in it, I'm probably going to put it up on the screen now. So this girl posted up, oh yeah, just got rid of the most toxic guy, I wasted four years of my life and that. Blood, you see when I see that, I was saying to my girl, when I see them things there, when I see girls posting up, pining and complaining about their boyfriend, I know it's only a matter of time before they get back with them. You see when someone's truly over someone, they don't put up these dumb memes or posters or messages and that. Oh, when the devil can't get to you, they send you a narcissist. Oh, how can someone come into your life for four years and disappear? Oh, if you love someone, you stick with them to the end. When someone's truly over with you and they're done with you, they don't post up them things there. They're gone. They've moved on. Similarly, likewise, if you're a man watching this right now and you're on a breakup, you have a, you've had a breakup with your girl and she's taking all these pictures of all these different guys and that in the club and posting up on social media, I promise you, I guarantee you, she's doing that to piss you off. Hold tight, my brother. Don't contact her. Stay, hold firm. It's only a matter of time before she contacts you. Do you know when you need to be worried that your girl's not going to come back to you? When you don't see the, oh, when the narcissist, when the devil can't get to you, they send you a narcissist. When you don't see, oh, if someone loves you, they will stay and fight for you. When you don't see, um, if you spend four years with someone, this means that you're supposed to spend 10 years with someone. When you don't see fucking her going out, showing all these different pictures, all these new guys and that. When you don't see that, then you need to be worried that she ain't going to come back because that's when she's moved on. When, she, when she's posting up all this nonsense and that trying to get you jealous, hey, set your fucking watch to it, blood. That bitch is coming back real soon. Trust me. Trust me. I know all the games. I know all the tricks, blood. I've watched too much, experienced too much, um, reflected on too much events and things that have happened in my life. I know all the fucking games. I know all the tricks, blood. There, there, there's nothing that I think could come my way that I won't be able to deal with or understand or see it coming. But anyway, man, that's it for today. How long is this video? Ross Clark! What, about 23? Because the squeeze of it. Yeah, about, what, 23 minutes and 30 seconds. Boy. But, um, yeah, man, that's it for today, man. Stay wise. Done.